Hello again everybody and welcome to another Let's Play, this time on the ZX Spectrum and I'm going to play Dynamite Dan, an absolute classic and it is a seriously rock hard one. It came out in 1985 by Rod Bowkett and quick funny story to this was, this was actually a present, I think it was either a birthday present or a Christmas present from my dad, but I was looking in an issue, I think it was Sinclair User, and I wanted a Spectrum game, and I saw a game called Abu Symbol Profa Profanation, Profanation, sorry, <laughs> Abu Symbol Profanation, an interesting little game, I can't remember, um, just going on the screen and show you what this is about, I couldn't remember exactly what it was about, but uh, my dad said to me, what about this game, Dynamite Dan, I'll get back to that in a minute, so this is basically a screen, I thought I'd bring this up, basically the short story is um, Dr Blitzen, and his assistant Donna, they're trying to make a mega ray and they've got the plans in their vault and you've got to get eight sticks of dynamite and blow that vault, collect the secret plans and escape in the blimp. Easy said than done? You're damn straight it is, it's bloody possible. And these are some of the items that you get for food, that gets your energy up from egg all the way to tea, fruit, biscuits, blah blah blah, gets your points and energy. This is the most important screen, the credit card, that can give you any amount of points, the deodorant, um, allows you to kill all enemies. Test tube, oxygen, dynamite and plans, all sorts of things. The test tube doesn't just give you 50 points, it also gives you uh, extra life. We're going to get on with it now though. Um, but back to my story, yes, my father, let's see how we get on. Uh, my father said, what about this game? And I remember my words, literally, I went, uh, I don't know, and I, l I read the review and it, it was, I'm sure it's Sinclair user. Whoa. And it gave it 5 out of 5 stars and I thought okay let's take a let's take a chance we've got an extra life here plus 50 points Boom. and my god I'm happy I, I, I did but it was a rock hard game I'm playing this on the 128k spectrum toast rack model by the way if any of you wants to know drop down here first stick of dynamite Excellent. I love doing this. I'm always going to lose lives doing this, but I love doing this. Get your finger on the fire button. Straight back up again. Whee! Just like that. Uh, yeah, so... Um, it took a prized possession in my collection. I still have the original release, the original cassette by Mirosoft. In my collection. I've always... Any Spectrum games I've collected, I always prefer the original release. I always lose two lives here. Um, oh, never stick a dynamite. Wait for that one because I know where there's another one. Yeah, um, I never collected budget titles or compilations. I always wanted the original releases. Alright, let's wait for that zapper. There we go. Whoa. And there we go. Up. Oh. Credit card. That give you any amount of points. There's another stick. You've got to time this absolutely perfectly. Oh, there we go. Two sticks of dynamite, jump over. I'm gonna lose a life here because there's no way you can pass both of these without losing a life. You get ten lives. And they don't last long, I tell you. But I just love look at the way these are animated. It's beautiful. Very cleverly programmed game. There we go, three sticks of dynamite. How many sticks of dynamite have any of you got if you've played this game before without cheats? That'd be interesting. I can't see anyone completing this without cheats. Another life there. need about 25 lives to get through this game. There's about 48 different screens. And each game you play, well, pretty much, I'd say about a dozen or 16, there's another dynamite, that's four sticks dynamite. Um, 12 to 16 times, uh, it's different layouts. The bonuses, there's dynamites, materialize in different areas, so it's never the same one game after another. You have to literally cycle through about 12 to 16 uh, games, games of this game before the same layout happens, and then you have to memorise it. But it's so unforgiving. But we're going to see how many sticks we can get here. This was rock hard. You've got time this right. That's a bad jump. I've lost the life there. I knew I would. They're just so wonderfully animated. Look at those uh, those books at the top there. I do like that. 
lovely use of colour. This is kind of an early game. 85. We go back up again. Oh, extra life, and I know there's another one. Thank you, another extra life. And there's the blimp, uh, the blimp, there's the top secret plan, some blitzen. You've got to get in there. I have done a long play of this on my channel, but it does um, use infinite lives cheats. There's another stick of dynamite down there. That is a mother to get to. And you've got to time this right as well. It's a weird... Well, he's a mad scientist, isn't he, Dr. Blitzen? I'm not surprised the way this house is laid out of all these baddies. My energy is getting low as well, so... Get this soup. Good. There. Saved her life there. Only to lose it very shortly. I'm sure. Every, just everything's wonderfully animated. Again, there's the uh, safe. And there's another stick of dynamite. I'm not going to bother going in there. Jump. Ooh. And again. No, I should have gone. I knew those scissors would get me. There we go. Five sticks of dynamite. Oh, I'm going to lose a life there. I always do. No, I won't bother going in there. See, even when you're, once you're in that safe, once you blow the door, it's a nightmare to get the plans as well. You've got to time your jump so perfectly. Right. Oh, lovely. Oh, wonderful. Now, um, we've got to try and work out how to get to that stick there. Easier said than done. Now. Oh, just. Go. There we go. And that little symbol on the right, on the left there, that upside down exclamation mark kind of looking thing, that's oxygen. If you get that and you fall into the river, you um, you go back to your blimp. You don't. It's not game over. Um, an extra life there, but get into that up down here. Credit card. I'm going to lose a life anyway now. My energy is low. Yeah, just about. I'm not going to get... Yeah, I did get to that soup. And I'm going to lose another bloody life now. I should have just collected that to begin with. So to get that other stick of dynamite, I've got to time this right. Get these jumps. And now try that. Boom! Oh, pixel perfect. Around here, there's the dynamite. Up we go. Get that egg, which is worth only five points. Jump. Now, now we've got six sticks of dynamite. Doing extremely well, but the lives are very low. And I'm going to lose one here because of the height. There we go. Over there quickly. Just absolutely mad. In insane, this game. Drop down there. There's... Oh, oxygen. We'll grab that. Do, 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 do. So that means if I fall into that river, I don't die. And then jump over... Oh, and an extra life there. Right, well, we're going to wait for the um, boat now. So, yeah, I've done a Let's Play of this before, which I shall delete, because the one I did years ago, I performed pretty badly. And uh, I thought it's about time I did a, f a fresh one. I've got Dynamite Dan 2, a Let's Play of that on my channel. I won't be redoing that one, so check that out. In fact, I'll put that in the link of, the, uh, of this video description. I can very rarely... Yeah, every time. It's very rare I can get past him. I have done it. So we've got six sticks. And there's a seventh. Let's see, how many of you have got seven sticks of dynamite on this game without cheating? Seven sticks of dynamite. Oh, oh I didn't jump. Well, that's alright. I've got the oxygen. Oh, otherwise, that'll be game over. So we go this way this time. The thing is, I think I know where that eighth stick is. And there's no way I'm going to get to it. With just two lives, there's just no way. Especially with jumps like that, there's no way. And that doesn't include getting to the safe, blowing that, trying to get the jumps right in the safe to get the plans and then get back to the blimp. It's just ridiculously hard. I need at least 20 lives for this game. But I've got seven sticks. That's pretty good going, isn't it? 
One more stick needed to blow that safe, and I ain't gonna do it. I'm nowhere near that screen. And I've looked at that screen before on a previous attempt, and it's getting to it with ridiculous, getting past all the enemies. It's just no way. Lovely. Don't grab that, not many points. This is tricky. Trampoline as well. Makes you bounce. Oh. Oh no. Oh, game over. Damn it. 24 screens visited. Seven sticks of dynamite. So there you go. That's Dynamite Dan on the ZX Spectrum. And um, it's the only version as far as I'm concerned I'll ever play. Because it's got sentimental value because my dad bought it for me. And um, bottom line is the other versions are crap compared to it. Simple as that. Take it as you, as you want what I've said. But that's my true feelings of it. And as you can see that figure on the right hand side there is Dr. Blitzen's mad assistant. So yeah. Um, just a mad scientist wanting to blow up the world with a mega ray. You've got to get eight sticks of dynamite, blow the side, collect the plans, get in a blimp. And I've got to say, the end sequence is absolutely crap. Even for a spectral game in 1985, just some text saying congratulations, and you have to rearrange a secret code and phone up Mirosoft to claim your prize, which was a free ride in a real blimp. Now, whether that really happened, I don't know. I don't think so. So there you go, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that Let's Play of Dynamite Dan on the ZX Spectrum. Until next time, Zeus out.